it comes to plant-based protein powders, which are the healthiest for us? Well first let's take a look at hemp protein powder. In comparison with other plant-based protein powders such as pea and soy, which tend to be highly refined and contain very little fibre, most hemp protein powders contain roughly 7 to 8 grams of fibre per 30 grams, which is quite surprising for a protein powder. And as hemp protein powder is less refined than other protein isolates, this does mean it contains less protein and more fat than other protein powders. Now let's have a quick look at pea protein powder. Well, one of its strong points is that it's more rich in iron than other powders, with most pea protein powders containing around 5 to 7.5 milligrams of iron per serving, which is roughly 28 to 42 percent of the reference daily intake for premenopausal women and 62 to 94 percent of the RDI for men and postmenopausal women. Interestingly, in this study, weightlifting men who consumed 50 grams of pea protein per day gained the same amount of muscle as those taking whey protein. P may also be superior to whey, as it appears it doesn't have the same modulating effect on growth hormone, as we'll hear later. Sadly, we can't really mention rice protein powders, as nearly all rice products at the moment are contaminated with the heavy metal arsenic, so we would steer clear for the time being. Now, whilst most soy products are healthy for us, such as whole edamame beans, tempeh, tofu, soy milk, etc., it appears the same cannot be said for soy isolate protein powders as we're about to hear. So let's hear now from Dr. Joel Furman on which plant-based protein powders he would recommend. The advantage of plant protein over animal protein is not as biologically complete, which means it's the levels of amino acids, but not all at the top level, like with soy protein. Soy protein really mimics the protein levels of almost animal products. Pea protein is a little more like a plant protein. So I think that hemp protein and pea protein are legitimate options for people who need more protein in their diet and they're safe options for people who increase their protein. And there are some people who need more protein, especially people who are vegans over the age of 80, 85, when the ability to assimilate protein drops. These extra protein isolates like hemp seeds or hemp protein or pea proteins are probably the safest way to go to give them a little more protein. Nobody's suggesting that become the major source of their protein is just a little bit of an addition to their protein intake. They're still going to get all those fibers, but with soy, it's different because the soy proteins have such a high degree of concentrated protein without the fiber and phytochemicals that it loses its anti-cancer benefits. And it's high protein content now that's been concentrated so much, the protein resembles meat protein, and it can have an effect to raise IGF-1 too high, accelerating the risk of cancer or perhaps promoting the risk of cancer. With pea protein, and you're still getting a plant protein that still resembles a plant protein. It doesn't have the powerful features of animal protein like whey or like soy protein. are just too powerful as far as their ability to modulate growth hormone. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.